Hi guys, my name is Dr. Rocker and this is my Halloween special... <laughs> yes, Halloween special. <laughs> Halloween special! <laughs> so yes, this is my Halloween special. So now enjoy my special intro and then I will draw this guy. Oops. Okay, I hope you guys enjoyed my little intro here. And now I will do something I've never done before. I will draw on black paper. And to keep it even more challenging, I will draw the whole thing with this mask on. So let's do this. As you can see, I already prepared my piece of paper and I decorated it so to get in the right Halloween mood. First I will do a little sketch with a pencil. And then I will use mostly those two, I guess. Those are Prismacolor colored pencils. And like I said before, I've, I haven't done this before. So it's like drawing with light. And I'm very excited to do this. And I'm already getting hot in this mask. So let's better get started. It was quite interesting to draw on a black piece of paper because you have to think a bit different. You actually just have to draw the areas inflicted by light. The mask was a bit annoying actually because it felt like wearing blinkers. But I got used to it after a while. And speaking of annoying, it was also a bit annoying to sharpen your pencil every two seconds. It's amazing how much colored pencil you can use in one drawing. Now it's time to shake the jelly pan. I love how the jelly pan turned out, cause those little highlights let the drawing look so much more real. It's so cool. But you really need a good one, cause not all of those white pens will work on the wax based colored pencils. I will leave the link to the best jelly pen I know so far in the description for you guys. And while I'm at it, I will also use the link to my Prismacolor colored pencils because they really are awesome to draw with. I hope I don't forget. Here you can see the attrition of my pen. I used about one whole Prismacolor colored pencil for this drawing. Look at all that debris, I should have kept that and built a candle or something. I was very looking forward to do a Halloween special, because I really like the creepy Halloween stuff. And since I did this little stop motion movie you saw in the beginning, I actually made this a few years ago when I got this figurine. I thought Jack Skellington would make a perfect motive for my Halloween drawing. Okay, I got some good news, because first I thought I will need to draw all of this space in black. But look at that, I just need to draw the little lines and I can make a shadow with just doing that. That's amazing. That will save me a lot of time. I will do some shading here in the black space. But it's barely to be seen, so I mostly will do this. So cool, look at that. 
gray shading, almost no effort. And here we go with my details, because we would like to have a special drawing, right? And finally a drawing where my skulls are matching with the motif. That's convenient. I was thinking about drawing some more characters from The Nightmare Before Christmas in the background, but then I changed my mind, because I felt that this way the drawing is more unique in comparison with all the other Jack Skellington sketches out there. So I think this was the best choice to stay unique. You need to stand out somehow, especially when you're doing art. There are so many artists out there and we can't just all do the same now, can we? And there you have it. Jack Skellington, Dr. Rocker style. Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and also the outcome of this picture. If you did enjoy it, please drop a like. And also don't forget to subscribe. Oh, yeah. Okay, but seriously guys, thank you for watching. I think this turned out pretty good. And I would like to wish you all a happy Halloween and see you on my next video. Bye!